you know them? Oh, no. Not really. I've just seen them around before. Dressed kind of strangely, don't you think? Maybe they're coming back from a cosplay event. Excuse me. I'm sorry, do you have a minute? <laughs> you. Nothing. None of your business. I don't need to tell you anything. What's going on? What could he be plotting? to annoy me. Would you please leave? Annoy you? Fine. Then I will take my leave instead. The day to take action is approaching, and I must stop the plan. Stop what? There she goes. Time. I'm thinking about the passage of time. Time? Time goes by so quickly. Seriously? What is with that woman? Hmm. She helped us earlier, but that doesn't necessarily mean we can trust her. Hmm. Why don't you take a peek? Winksing, huh? I didn't go there. I was there already. What? I'd rather not have to deal with you laboring under a false impression, so I'll give you some information. I've been independently looking into the genome editing research at Horidori Institute. At Horidori Institute? Yes. I've been trying to get a handle on the movements of the researchers there. They made their move just a few hours ago. They mobilized a big group of them into the warehouse district. So I climbed on a crane and watched the events unfold. You mean you were just watching as Ryuki and I were fighting? Yes, but I realized that if I didn't step in, the old man and his boy would be killed. That's why I helped. Aren't I generous? I told you I'd give you some information. That's the extent of what I'll tell you. Why? Because someone here may be leaking intel to the Institute. No. I will not, though I guess it would be more accurate to say I cannot. Not yet. This mask is secured in place by an extremely powerful special adhesive developed by NASA. If you try to take it off by force, it would take my skin with it. What? Come on. That sounds really bad for your skin. But you said not yet, right? Yes, there is a way to remove it. I am a woman of beauty beyond compare. If I remove this mask, blood would erupt from the noses of the four men here, and they would die of blood loss. In other words, I'm saving your lives by keeping this mask on. Quite kind of me. Wouldn't you agree? Today is February 11th. National Foundation Day, isn't it? But the doctor decided to give you a special consultation anyway. You should thank him. But I have to say, the doctor is at fault too. That was a bit harsh. Oh, um, well, about your remaining life expectancy. This may not offer much comfort coming from me, but please don't feel too down. The doctor's diagnosis isn't always correct. That was... She seems to have some sort of illness. Why do you ask? No reason. You saw me fight earlier, didn't you? I'm perfectly healthy. There's nothing wrong with me. I see. That's good. No, wait. 
That person over there. That's... Excuse me! Nice to see you again. The body is the opposite. What? I need to hurry. If I don't... I forgot to put mothballs in the dresser. Rats don't wear shoes. But you're not a rat. Squeak, squeak. Are you really a rat? Or... Uh, go again? Breath. Where is it? Where is the main event taking place? Main event? There she goes. Please, tell me what's going on. Do you know this woman? She was collapsed in a nearby park. She seemed completely out of it. I wanted to call her an ambulance, but she refused. She wouldn't even let me take her to a hospital, so I brought her here. Are you okay? I'll call an ambulance. Take you there. She said it was her chronic illness acting up. A chronic illness? She was born with a weak heart, and she mentioned something else. She said something about coming into contact with strong electricity, and that made her symptoms worse. I have no idea what she meant. She was mumbling to herself. After coming here, she injected herself with some kind of medicine she had. It seemed to have helped a little. She asked if she could rest here a bit. And that's the last thing she said before she fell asleep. She slept with her mask on. I tried taking it off, but it wouldn't budge. It seems like it's glued on. I'm not sure. I just happened to be walking by. There's no response. It's just... No, she's not. Her heart rate is normal. I need to find her. What? Where is the execution chamber? Execution chamber? What is she talking about? Wait, could she be? N no there's no way. <sighs> That's the last of them. That was dangerous. Thank you. Wait, what are you doing here? And why did you help me? Should I not have? You know that's not what I mean. Why are you here? I don't follow. You shot at me yesterday. That was yesterday. Today is today. What? Anyway, do you hear that? Hear what? I was investigating. Investigating? Are you some kind of detective or something? Yes. Something like that. You know about the gene therapy research they're doing there, don't you? Yeah. I don't totally understand it, but it's something about rewriting DNA, right? I heard that they're doing illegal things there. I wanted to know about the dark side of the research myself. So that is why I'm investigating them. I want to know who did this to me. Did what to you? Fine. If you don't want to give me the details, at least tell me this. They're doing shady things in there, and you want to find out what, right? That's right. 
I can't talk about it. Why not? It's top secret. Top secret? But it could have something to do with my investigation. I wouldn't know. Hey, Iva, can we sink into her? I wouldn't even try. There is no way you would get Boss's permission. <sighs> but I can tell you this. It's about Tokiko Shigure. Tokiko Shigure? The president of Nai's? That's right. The president of Horidori Institute, Chikara, was a senior member of Nai's. 37 years ago, when Tokiko was 23, she became pregnant with his child. What? Chikara didn't want anything to do with it. He already had a wife and child. He demanded she can... But she refused. She gave birth to the child. At the time, she had no immediate family and no money. Chikara was terrified. He was worried that the child might grow up to resent him and threaten him with blackmail. So he came up with a plan to have them adopted to one of his friends. To persuade Tokiko, he promised her prestige and power at Nai's. That she would one day be president. Through tears, Tokiko reluctantly accepted and let the child go. Tokiko lost her child. But she did become a powerful member of Nai's. Ultimately, she became the president of the Japan branch. You're saying they could be terror? That's not possible. Why not? They've already passed. Really? It is a certainty. I felt like it. Who just feels like shooting at a high school girl? I don't think the high school part is relevant. I almost died. No, that would be impossible. I shot you with rubber bullets. You didn't notice? You mean... I had no intention of killing you. Then why did you kill me? Just trust me. I'm not your enemy. You must be really strong. You seem pretty handy with a gun. So who are you? Don't try to find out. How could I not? You're one of the most suspicious people I've ever seen. You're on the list of suspects. That's a mistake. I'm not a suspect. We'll see. That's for me to decide. And one more thing. I'm not strong. I don't have a strong body. Concerned about what happened at the Institute earlier? Don't worry about it. They won't report it. Why not? For two reasons. First, the weapons they had are illegal. If those firearms are discovered, that could cause the facilities to be closed. What's the other reason? They are doing some questionable research. They wouldn't want the police anywhere near. I see. Whew. I'm glad, though. Why? I want to see your face. I refuse. You want me to trust you? Then show me your face. Sorry, I don't have my makeup on right now. Ugh. And I have a big pimple on my nose as well. It's embarrassing. Then I'll just force you to take it off. Don't bother trying. This mask is secured in place by an extremely powerful special adhesive developed by NASA. If you tried, it would rip my skin off. Or did you want to see my facial muscles? If that's the case, then I won't stop you. Okay, I lied. I would stop you. So does that mean you're gonna wear that mask forever? No. I'll take it off if I need to. The mask will come off if I apply the remover. There are certain kinds of glue that require a special chemical to remove. The bond may also deteriorate naturally over time. That's enough for now. I'm going to get going. Fine, but don't get in my way again. I won't get in your way. I'll only do what I need to do. Yeah, okay. Oh, and one more thing? Earlier when you... Thanks for saving me. Hmm. You don't need to thank me for that. And one more thing for me, too. If you plan on continuing your investigation, there are two important things to consider. First, whatever happens, don't lose sight of yourself. Even if someone you trust betrays you. And the other thing? Ryuki. Be wary of him. What? See you around. Wait! What do you mean by-
by that? Jeez. Taking off right after dropping that bombshell? Are you okay? Uh, you? We'll talk later. Let's handle them first. Okay, let's go! Uh, uh. Hmm. What happened? Are you okay? It's fine. It'll pass. Don't worry about me. Go after them! Uh, what? They're gone! Damn. Why didn't you chase after them? You should have just left me. No, I couldn't do that. Anyway, why come here? To find comfort here. I was raised at Iowan. What? Yes. I spent a few years of my youth here, but I wasn't here 24 hours a day. For a few days out of the week. They had me at a research facility. You mean... Yeah. Oradori Institute. But one day they went out of commission. I never went back. The children here ultimately got adopted, but unfortunately I didn't. Do you know why? I'm blind in one eye. And you saw the condition of my heart earlier. Frail children aren't really in high demand. But you did get adopted, right? Yeah. When I was 15. Long story short, a lot happened. And I decided to live my new life with my adopted family. So you were here until you were 15? No. I was only here till I was 9. From the ages of 9 to 15, I was raised by a different family. I really got along with my new sibling. Looking back at it, those six years were the most peaceful of my life. I told you that I'm investigating the genome research, right? Yeah, you did. You said, I want to know who did this to me. I was a subject of their experiments. I guess you can call me a... Designer baby. I don't even know my real parents. I was the result of artificial insemination and genome manipulation. But because of that, my physical abilities exceed that of a regular human. I hear it's a side effect of eternal youth and life. Not that I'm grateful for it. Just like me. The price I had to pay was too high. I was born with a blind left eye and heart issues. I was told I wouldn't last long. I see. Um, thank you for sharing that with me. Why did you suddenly decide to tell me? I felt like it. You felt like it? Then can you tell me more? No. Why not? I've talked enough about me. Enough? But there's still so many questions. Why did you help me? Who even are you? I don't want you to get involved. What do you mean by that? Why are you so protective of me? <sighs> are you having another seizure? It's from the fight earlier. It's not a big deal. I just need to rest a little bit. She's out. I had a dream. Oh? It wasn't a good dream. Maybe you're tired. It was a dream about you. Can we talk about something? Wasn't this room made for that? Or is this a karaoke room? A 
as I told you before, I was created by having my genome rearranged. And I'm not the only one born this way. All for Chikara's research of eternal youth and life. Many children were used for his research. Chikara Horadori. After many years of insanity, his research is nearly complete. It's been decades. And finally... What do you mean by nearly? He couldn't completely stop the aging process, but he was able to slow it to a crawl. I'm sure Chikara was content with that success, because through that, he was able to achieve something far more difficult. What? Slowing down the aging process wasn't only achieved by modifying the genomes of fertilized embryos. Chikara was able to rearrange the DNA of a fully matured adult. After all, it wouldn't be as meaningful to him if he couldn't. No amount of research would allow him to turn back into an egg. Can you tell me one last thing? In the dream, the last thing I saw was a boy I know well. Is he also a victim of the research? Yes. Shoma Enda. The lone success of the research. He's cursed with eternal youth and life. They vanish! <laughs> You? I was just passing by. No, you weren't. Mizuki, they're using optical camouflage. Use thermal mode. Right. I can see their body heat signatures. Wait, how did you know that? I guess. No, you didn't. Oh, hold up. That's my bike. Could you at least ask? Mizuki, I think you have it wrong. What do you mean? I got it on the internet. Ugh. Anyway. Let's go! Ooh. Thanks. You helped me out again. No. Don't worry about it. So, what's going on here? <sighs> Guess it's time to let the cat out of the bag. The NASA glue loses its hold over time. Big sis? Nice seeing you again, Kizuna. Quartz? Please stop calling me that. Hold on. I'm trying to process this. Kizzy and Lian? You know her? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, stuff happened and... Stuff happened? <laughs> Fine. Whatever. I'll think about it later. What I want to know is... Your face. We can talk about it all later. More importantly, Kizzy and Lian, you need to get out of here. Those guys might come back with reinforcements. No. Oh. Right. You can use my bike. There's a helmet under the, the seat. The keys are still in the ignition. Uh, are you certain this is okay? No, but just give it back as soon as you can, okay? I can't thank you enough for this. Kizzy, hold on tight. Okay. Do you know where you're going? Well... To the ends of the Earth. All right. Let's go! Off they go. They'll be fine. Huh? What's wrong? What 
isn't wrong. Fair enough. Can we talk? Yeah, but before that. We need to get rid of those guys. They did not appear to even notice Kizuna and Lian escaping. These guys are idiots. We can't let them follow them. We gotta take them down. So let's go, Mizuki. Mizuki! Ugh, damn it! I don't get anything that's happening, but fine. You and I are gonna talk about everything after we're through with this. Fine by me. Well then, let's start. Yeah! I'm sorry, but I looked into your head. Into your dream, to be more technical about it. I want to ask you a few things. Is that okay? You've already brought me here. It's a little late to ask for permission. Or, were you intending we play some card games here or something? There was a person that appeared in your dreams. He said this. The revival initiative is proceeding as planned. Humanity will eventually reach Moksha. That was terror, wasn't it? Which means you've met him. Why aren't you answering? Because I don't want to. Why not? Because I don't. Unfortunately, I don't know any specifics. All I know is the plan. To cause a worldwide simultaneous bug and have all of humanity reach Moksha. That's the gist of it. But what does that mean? I don't understand. I don't either. All I know is, that's their plan. Nice? Yes. But ever since Tokiko was killed, their plans have become even more shrouded in mystery. I don't understand it. I told you everything I can share with you right now. Now let me go. I can't just let you leave. Why? Do you want to play card games? Some bridge, maybe. Mizuki, I do not think we can get any more information from her. We should think this through. Think what through? Where we are headed next. When we wink synced into that Nice member at the shrine, he said this. <laughs> so tonight's rehearsal is for... The Nirvana Initiative? It is true we do not know the details, but they are almost certainly connected. But we don't know where to go. True. Rehearsal. Rehearsal. Oh, I remember! Let me just tell you this. The practice run will be done on the rooftop of me. Hey, where are you going? I'm not a suspect. If you don't let me go, it's illegal detention. Hmm. That is correct. Fine, come with me. Ryuki, what are you doing here? Oh, Mizuki, I'm here for the investigation, of course. Bastard. You. Huh? What? Why did you do that? Why did you punch him out of nowhere like that? I kicked him too. That's not the point! It's not like I hit him in a weak spot. That's not an answer! I haven't gotten him back for six years ago. What are you talking about? 
Anyway, where is the rocket? We need to find it or else... What the... Mizuki... I know. Hey, about Kizzy. Are you sure she's okay? Don't worry. I made sure she's fine. So, that makes us... sisters? We're not the same age, but we're like identical twins. We have almost the same genes. That's crazy. I'm a copy of you. Don't say it like that. But I'm your clone, right? Technically, yes. But our DNA isn't exactly the same. My genome was rearranged. Your DNA was modified on top of that, which is why you don't have the symptoms I have. Basically, you're an upgrade. The perfect version of me. Don't say it like that. If I revealed myself to you, you would want to know everything. In one way or another, you'd find out. You'd find out that your genes were spliced. That your real parents aren't Renju and Shoko. I didn't want you to end up like me. I wanted you to live a normal life. As normal as possible, anyway. Get a normal job, a normal husband, get married, start a family, live happily ever after. A life like that. But if I showed up, I would ruin all that. That's what I thought, at least. I see. But why didn't you tell me seven years ago in November? I was already well on my way to an abnormal life at that point. <laughs> Maybe that's true. Yeah, the same as me. When I was six, you were born at Horadori Institute and sent here. I'm guessing they thought it was too difficult to raise you at the Institute. I remember the day you arrived like it was yesterday. You were still a baby. But the moment I saw you, I got this feeling. I started bawling my eyes out. The people at the facility didn't know we were related. Makes sense. They were told we were from two different places. But we are both named Mizuki, and we looked really similar. So to make it easier, everyone started calling me Big Sis. They called you... Mizuki. They took me to Horadori Institute every so often for examinations. Well, I say examinations. I mean human experiments. I don't think you remember, but they did terrible things. I remember getting shots with needles as big as boba straws. My time with Horadori Institute ended when I was nine and you were three. It shut down and we were finally free. That's about the time you were adopted by the Okiura family. But me? Well, I told you about me, right? You were blind in one eye and had a heart condition. Right. So it was hard to find a family who would take me. Ultimately, it was Mr. Chieda, the chairman. So when you were nine, you were adopted by... The Chiedas. I spent the next six years there, up until I was 15. I lived under the same roof as Kizuna. I see. That's why she called me Big Sis. You said something about an eccentric woman? Yeah. I was adopted by her. Do you mean... Shizue Kuranushi. Boss. Which is why my name is Mizuki Kuranushi now. You think that sounds kinda lame, huh? No, it's not that. You know how we're stronger than everybody else? Maybe she thought I'd come in handy. So she wanted to make you work for her. I don't know if that's the truth, but that's what she told me. Boss taught me how to fight. 
After she adopted me, she trained me hard every day. Six years ago, when I was 18, I was hired as a top secret member of Abyss. Boss wanted someone who she could rely on, someone who would never betray her. She trusted me to handle the most sensitive situations. Basically, I'm like a ninja. Well, a kunoichi. Which is why my existence at Abyss had been hidden. The only people who know are Boss, Pewter, and Ryuki. Ryuki? Why? I wonder. It's like I told you. I want to know who did this to me. I know that Chikara was the mastermind, but I want solid proof. That's why I was investigating him and his institute. But then, out of the blue, he gets... That's why I started following the HB case. you have seen and heard cannot be shared with anyone. If you do, I will kill her. I have an abundant amount of money. Even if I were to die, the assassins I've hired would still find her. I see. That's why you didn't talk about what happened six years ago. But I think it's okay to start talking now. Why? I was able to freeze all of Terror's hidden accounts. We don't need to worry about any assassins anymore. Iba, you don't remember anything from February six years ago, do you? I do not. My body was destroyed in the explosion at the cathedral. The Abyss communication network was also offline, so there was no backup taken. By the way, I'm curious. Why were we given the same name? I don't know. Maybe they didn't really care about the name. But wouldn't that make it harder to tell us a part of the Institute? Ah, I don't think they had any trouble. We had code names at Horidori Institute. I was Mouse, and you were Rabbit. And you remember what they called us at Iowan, right? You were Big Sis, and I was Mizuki. Yeah. Is that what I called you? No. You were still little. You couldn't talk much. You just called me Bibi. BB? Yeah. BB, huh? Anyway, we've already spent enough time here. We shouldn't be wasting time like this. Good point. There's still tons we don't know about the HB case. Follow me. I want to show you something. Huh? What is it? Oh, no. It's nothing. Let's go, BB. I don't know. Not here. It's fine. I know where he is. Don't you have an idea too? Last night, Date called me out of the blue. He told me about the corpse. And how he was pretending to be Genny. And everything else he knew. Bibi. Uh, what? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to call you by that name. I used Marco's x-ray function. Marco? The name of my AI ball in my left eye. He's pretty shy. He doesn't talk much. Unlike someone else I know. Excuse me, are you talking about me? Mm-hmm, I know Iba really well. We were partners six years ago. When I was hired at Abyss, I was supposed to get Marco transplanted into my left eye. But he wasn't finished yet. So instead, I got Iba. But Iba and Date? Yeah, Iba and Date were kind of fighting at the time. 
And I needed to see if I was compatible with an AI ball at all, so... I see. I apologize. I do not remember anything from back then. Because of the explosion, right? Yes. It's kinda sad. I made so many memories with you, Iva. Um... Well, you see, I, I was so preoccupied with my work. No. It was because you tried watching VR while Iva was still in your left eye. That does sound like something that would make me very angry. I told you a million times it was just a watermelon splitting video. I wanted to ask Shoma about the genetic experiments, so I visited him. And I looked like Gen, so it didn't raise any concerns. He told me a lot. About his body and his older sister. And about the hidden safe. That's what we came here for. Wait, Shoma has an older sister? Yeah. You know her well. Kizuna and Iris's friend. A mermaid at Sunfish Pocket. A mame doi. Really? I can't really say anything more than what's in the file. Do you even need to ask? Mizuki. Same to you. Mizuki. Ah, <sighs> jeez. everything worked out. No. I know. I'm still feeling all tingly about it, too. It'll wear off in six months or so. Why were you hiding her? You could have just told me. In retrospect, yeah. But there was a reason I couldn't tell you. If I told you that, I would have to tell you everything. Not to mention, Mizuki is my secret weapon. 
She's like my personal ninja. But Ryuki knew about BB, right? Yeah. He saw us. Mama and I were shopping at the supermarket. I told you not to call me that. Who cares? They already know. Mama, huh? Are you jealous, Mizuki? N no, that's not it. Why? Well, isn't it obvious? We were able to solve the case because I worked really, really hard. Oh, patting yourself on the back, huh? So uncool, uncool. Not as uncool as My has nothing to do with it. And excuse you, my is really cute. I want to see. Oh, grow up. I didn't mean it like that. It's just for my future reference. He's gone. Don't let it eat at you forever. There was nothing you could have done. But... I wonder what she's doing about now. Well, I'll let it be. Oh, that. We weren't able to completely recover the memory, but... The days I spent with Iva, we at least got that. That data has been re-uploaded and re-implemented. I now have memory of that time. I wanted to ask about my pay. This again? But... Well, I do have to praise you for a job well done. So, I have a special present for you both. A present? It was left at a special place. You should find it. A special place? Your friends should know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're planning, but... I guess it's not a bad idea to see everyone again. Well then? Yeah, let's get going. Uh, yeah. I wonder... I kinda just... wanted to be here. Screw it. This is my last chance. I want some more screen time. Wh what are you talking about? Mom! Mom, are you watching? Look at me! Maybe she's contracted TC Purge. We should let the authorities know. The stadium? What are we doing here? What? You mean you don't get it, BB? Boss's present is probably here. Why do you think that? Remember what Iris said? Vertical is male multiplied by female. Now insert the numbers that Mr. Chieda and Ota gave us. Male is 5.4. Female is 6.607. 5.4 times 6.607 equals 35.6778. That's the vertical coordinate. The horizontal. Hor North, North 35. 35. Roboji. It looks pretty big. It is somewhat unnerving. Not something that would make a kid cheer with joy. Anyway... Why don't you open it? Okay... It's scary! It's fine. It will not explode. Are you sure? This is boss we're talking about. Well, I suppose I can't be sure. I know. X-ray. Took you long enough. I was suffocating in there. Ryuki. Ryuki? Ryuki! And I'm here too. Tama. Your body. You're healed? I'm perfectly fine. Eh, not perfect. His wounds still haven't healed. But I feel no pain at all. 
Because I got you hopped up on painkillers. You need to go back to the hospital. It's fine. It's not fine. I had to do it. Boss gave me a call. Hey, Ryuki. I hear you can walk now. I have a favor to ask you. I want to set up a little surprise for those two. And if you say no, I'm demoting you. Good luck! So, yeah. How mean. She's the devil. But, but... I'm glad you're okay, Ryuki. You seem to be doing well. Yes. Congratulations, Ryuki. Thank you. I'm sorry we made you worry. <laughs> you two are like a married couple. <laughs> well... You can't be serious. <laughs> All right, everyone. Listen up. Here we go. Let's celebrate Ryuki's full recovery. It's not a full recovery. Anyway, we have a special dance for you. Please watch us. Start the music! Yes, I got it again! Hey, is no one listening to me? Guys?